In this tutorial, we'll introduce the idea of forces. If you wanted to get an object moving, you could give it a big push. Your push is a force. And if your force is strong enough, you may see the object start to move. If the same object had a handle or a rope attached, you may decide instead to give it a pull. In the same way as pushing, your pull is also a force. And, again, if your force is strong enough, you may see the box start to move. So, we can see that forces can make an object that is sitting still start to move. The bigger the force, the more quickly it'll start to move. So, what else can forces do? Well, what if the object is already moving and then you add a force? If you push hard enough against its motion, you might be able to make the object come to a stop. You can also use a pulling force to make it come to a stop. Again, the bigger the force you apply, the more quickly the object would come to a stop. So why do moving objects slow down and eventually stop moving, even when you are neither pushing nor pulling on them? Where's that force coming from? Well, it's called a friction force. And though you may not see it, the force of friction is slowing things down all around you. If you kick a soccer ball, your kick is the force that starts the ball moving. And it's the force of friction that causes the ball to eventually stop. The harder your kick, the bigger the initial applied force. The longer the grass, the bigger the friction force. And both forces impact how far that ball is going to travel. In the same way, if you shoot a puck, your stick causes the force that starts the puck moving. And it's the force of friction that causes the puck to eventually stop. Note that the puck takes a long time to stop, as friction on ice is very small. And in the NHL, they freeze game pucks to further reduce the friction, as well as minimizing puck bounds. The slipperier the surface, the smaller the friction force, and the longer it takes to slow down a moving object. In this tutorial, we introduced the idea of forces. Forces can be pushing forces or pulling forces. And whether pulling or pushing, the forces can cause an object to change its motion. In fact, all changes in motion are caused by forces. We also recognize that there are friction forces all around us that cause objects to slow down and eventually stop. And the slipperier the surface, the smaller the friction force.